Good evening. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. Welcome one more time to our English class at Inglés Corporativo. Okay. Welcome, Kenya. Okay, let's get it started tonight. Uh, last night, we finished talking about simple past form, particularly with uh, regular verbs. And let's take a look a little bit about that. Yeah, we studied some regular verbs and we, we studied the past form for uh, regular verbs. Where is my... And share. Um, give me a second. I think I have to change this to Did you finish your homework? Did you do your homework, guys? Hey. Did you do your homework? Okay, um, I'm sorry, I, I need to, I needed to do some changes here. So I was telling you last night, I, I gave you something to do. So we studied, uh, where is this? Share screen here. Okay, we, we started talking about uh, simple past forms with regular verbs, where affirmative statements, we only change the verb into past, into the past form. 
for affirmative sentences and for negative sentences, we use didn't. Yeah. Plus the verb in present or in the base form. Okay. That's what we studied last night. And then um, we had an example here and this exercise, okay? So, number one, it was you watered the plants. What about number two? Who can give me number two? We bucket. Okay. We booked. We booked a twin room in the hotel. Number three. They invited. Okay. They invited. 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 Yes, Mary and Rachel to their party. Good. Um, then, oh, what happened here? Invited. Okay. Then, number four. I live in, I live Portugal. in Portugal. Okay. I lived in Portugal. Number five. I she worked in a uh -huh. Worked. Worked as a teacher. Number six. I listened. I listened. Listened to listened. the doctor's advice. Okay, listened. Listened to the doctor's advice. Number seven. Bye. Mm -hmm. You advised him not to go there. Number eight. They shoot at the tourists. Shouted. Shouted at the tourists. Number nine. I arrived. 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 Late. And number ten. Called. Okay. Called. Called. Okay. Very good. Let's practice these sentences, please. Repeat after me. You watered the plants. You water, you water, water the, plant. the plant. Watered. Watered. D. Watered. Watered. Mm -hmm. We booked a twin room in the hotel. We booked a twin room in the hotel. Booked. 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 Okay. Number three. They invited Mary and Rachel to their party. They invited Mary and Rachel to their party. Invited. 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 Yes. Eid. Invited. 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 Or I lived. 
in Portugal. I live in Portugal. Portugal. Lived. 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 Five. She worked as a teacher. 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 Okay. Six. I listened to the doctor's advice. I listened to the doctor's advice. Listened. Listened. Okay. Listen. You advised him not to go there. You advised him not to go there. Advised. Advised. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next, they shouted at the tourists. They shouted at the tourists. Shouted. 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 I arrived late. I arrived arrived late. 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 Arrived. Arrived. arrived and your mother called your grandmother your mother called 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 okay Let's practice the verbs. Watered. 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 Booked. 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 Invited. 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 Lived. 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 She worked. 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 Work. Listened. Listened. Advised. 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 Shouted. 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 Arrived. 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 Called. 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 Okay. I want you to observe that no no one uh, sounds bad. Okay, we never say ed. We don't say booked. No. Invited. No. Leave it. No. Work it. No. Never, 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 never say L. Okay. Okay. There are three different sounds for this pronunciation. Let me show you here. And then I'm going to play a video. We have three different pronunciations for regular verbs, or past form of regular verbs. One form is id. So this ending, okay? The ending, this ending in these cases sounds id. Oh, okay. okay, when the verb ends in T or D, want, wanted, need, needed, okay, never say wanted, 
Only there. No. Please, no. no. Thank you. Okay. 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 The other ending is t, t, yeah, and we use t when the verb ends in p k a s h c h g h t h s s c x. In these cases, the pronunciation of this is t. Okay. T. Look. Help. Look. Oh, yes. Look. Help. Let's Watch practice. It. Helped. 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 Looked. 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 Washed. Washed. Watched. Laughed. Laughed. No, remember that this is uh, this sound is like an F. Laugh. Laugh. Uh -huh. Laugh. The pronunciation is laugh. 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 And the past form laugh. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Breathed. Kissed. Danced. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. Okay. We call these sounds voiceless sounds. Okay. Ah, those are voiceless sounds. Voiceless means that you don't use your vocal cords to produce these sounds and these are voiced sounds voiced sounds voice sounds observe is when you use the vocal cords and they produce vibration in the throat. For example, if you put your hands here, your fingers, and you say, call, only call. Call. The sound, oh, produces vibration here. Oh. Okay. That's it. Clean. Clean. Offer. Clean. Damage. Love. Love. Uh huh. Those are voiced sounds. And the verbs that ends with voiced sounds, the ED sounds D. Okay, this sounds D. D. For example, cold. Repeat please, cold. 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 Cleaned. 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 Offered. Offered. Damaged. Damaged. Loved. Loved. Used. 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 Followed. 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 Enjoyed. 
Amazed. Okay. So these are the three sounds for past form of regular verbs. Memorize. Yeah, the rule. You need to memorize the rule. But it's easy if you only memorize this. Voiceless and voiced. When is voiced? When you have vibration here. Vibration here. When you don't have vibration here, is voiceless. Any question here? It can be a little bit confusing, but please, maybe you confuse it, but please never, never, never say L. Okay? okay. If you okay. say helped or helped okay okay but it's horrible if you say help pal. yeah is what we call un kumazo in english yeah no 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 horrible okay i don't want to hear you say look at no wow horrible Okay? Question. Okay. Never. Ninguno suena el. All right? Okay. Right. Dio, trato hecho? Sí, trato hecho. Okay. Now, uh, let me play the video. There is a, a, a video for that. Let me look for the video and watch it. Here it is. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. Okay. And listen to this video. Where's the volume? What happened here? In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn. Watch, turn, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. 
This is called a boy's sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay. Any question, people? No. I okay, good. Very good. Now, the next activity is to practice some irregular verbs, okay? Because the first are regular verbs. They don't change too much. We only add ed at the end to form the past. But regular verbs are different, okay? So irregular verbs are different. So let's take a look to this video about some irregular verbs we are going to use. Okay, pay attention, please. In this using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. 
We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now, it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. So those are irregular verbs. Mm. I have a, sh a short list actually here for you of some irregular verbs, okay? So, this is a short list, actually. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's very short. So, and there, there is no rule. There is no rule for irregular verbs, okay? No, no hay manera de decir, ah, todos los verbos que son así son de esta forma. No. Esto es bien, esto es lo más caprichoso que hay in English, okay? And the only way is to memorize them. That's the only way to learn this, by, by practicing, okay? Very sad. Uh, memory. And, uh, I'm going to give you, oh, I, I forgot to do that before, but there is a, there, is, there are some videos, I don't know if, if you have seen some videos in YouTube. Papa. <laughs> uh, to practice irregular verbs. We have I a will, new student. A new student, yes. New yes, student. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to put some links in WhatsApp with videos that with some music are or make it easier, okay, to learn some irregular verbs.
Well, uh, so let's write some sentences about what activities you did today. You can use these verbs or other verbs. Uh, for example, I got up at 6 a.m. in the morning. I didn't go out today. Um, okay. So, or with these verbs, so you can make some sentences. Um, okay, I will give you, uh, what time is it? I don't see much here. I will give you uh, five minutes to write three or four sentences about activities you did today, okay? I woke up or I got up at six in the morning. I uh, had lunch at 1 p.m. I drank a cup of coffee at 9 a.m. or whatever, okay? I want you to write five sentences about activities you did today. Okay? Okay. Okay, do it please.
Okay, welcome back. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, let's take a look to questions. Okay, yes, no questions. 
and simple pass. Look at this video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple pass yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no question. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense, have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question, I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice about it. After you hmm. Okay, 
There's a problem with the audio here. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, good. So is the video, the video has, it's, it was recorded in that way. Okay, let's practice the conversation quickly. We don't have too much time, let me check the time. Oh, actually we don't have time to practice the conversation. Uh, just let me point out the, the questions that we have here, okay? okay. Look, did you go anywhere last summer? This is how. And the, and the answer, yes, I did. Okay. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. You love it? We loved it. So that's extra information, as I said. Okay. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Did you have fun? Yes, yes, we, we did. Die. Okay. Okay. Very good. We're going to stop here tonight and we'll continue on this at this point tomorrow. Okay. 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 okay thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nice meeting you tonight, people. See you. Good night. See, See you, you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you too. Thank you.